All right, ladies and gentlemen, backstage, Hex Fight Series 28 Festival Hall in Melbourne with none other than Far Jack Jenkins. Mate, first of all, how's the elbow? Yeah, really, really good. Um, progression through my rehab. I did surgery and um, you know it, it was hard to pull myself back from training a little bit um, but I think you know just taking it in my stride it was probably a blessing in disguise I had you know the four fights in 12 months and all really high profile fights like there's contender series which is do or die first fight which was at home in front of everyone then first fight overseas which was against Jamal and then that fight form the form from that fight's been franked obviously with him going out and knocking out bazooka last weekend um, and then obviously the one in Sydney and, you know, things didn't go my way there. But like I said, right after the fight, I don't think my stock's dropped and it's just take it, take it in my stride and, and go forward. Well, speaking of stock, you're looking stocky. Uh, you're looking quite big. How, how big are you getting? Is that helping with the recovery or? Um, not necessarily. I think I'm just like been drinking some beers, enjoying myself. Um, you know, like I... It, it, you know, I, I was around a few of my friends and my family for the last few weeks and uh, one of those smell the roses moments where since I've sort of been 21, 22, I probably haven't had more than two weeks where I have, you know, let myself chill out and, um, you know, I haven't let myself, like, chill out and, um, you know, enjoy time with family and friends and that sort of stuff. And um, it was brilliant because I, I really enjoyed it, but now I'm like itching to get back in. Like it's kind of renewed that. And even just being here tonight, I'm like, right, well, fuck, let's, let's go head down again. It's time to go back to work. Well, I mean, before we go into what ne what's next, I mean, we did just see uh, Hex promoter Jacob Watts roll past. I mean, Festival Hall, you're a Melbourneian. What does it mean to have a fight show at, at I think it's 3,500 capacity. I think there's been kickboxing and wrestling before. Did Festival Hall mean anything? to you coming up? Uh, yeah, like you hear about all the fights that used to be here and they used to have the boxing fights here and everything and now that, um, you know, the landscape's probably evolved to the point where the, this is the big sport now. So to be back here and putting on good shows, you can see they shut down the street outside, the crowd's packed, brilliant fights on. Like the talent coming through tonight is phenomenal. We just saw Harry Webb and, you know, I think with, without doing too much work here, I think you probably got Quillian, Selkild and Harry Webb clear one and two in the country at lightweight and I think both of them are probably one fight from straight in like and that's crazy to say about someone who's three and oh but Harry's just unbelievably talented and he just gets better every fight so um yeah huge talent pool and then obviously you got my my teammate Joe Luciano he's eight and one he's put in his yards in the amateurs and in the pros and I think a win for him probably means entry as well so Great show, great talent. Also, I mean, the, the guy that Harry Webb just took out, now I'm Stephen, uh, he, he's taken on, I think it's Tom Nolan, Quillen Sourkild, and Harry Webb. I mean... <laughs> That's unbelievable. Like, that, as a resume, like, UFC quality, UFC quality, UFC quality. So, good on Neem. Like, is it Neem or Neem? I don't know. How. I don't know. I've been saying different ones all week. Either way. how good Jamal was like I think a lot of other people didn't but we knew so it was a high pressure fight for me and it was a real chess match and then to see him come out and do the things that I managed to avoid and mitigate and him just go crack good night was a, uh, a really satisfying moment for me um, and, you know and I plan on doing that same thing where I hope I can come out now and show again like okay I'm fucking here let's go I mean and in your last fight it's not like you got like dominated or was outclassed it's just obviously a freak injury uh it takes you out it is a it is a loss but how do you regroup and how do you go forward mate like I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky like I don't I don't wrap my whole self-worth up in being a fighter so after my wins on contender series Perth and then Florida I didn't go crazy I didn't start thinking I was the man or, or change anything about myself so when you don't let your head get too big and, and get too far ahead of yourself with the wins it's easy to keep your head on when you have the loss and and be able to regroup and I've got great coaches great teammates and a really good family so and uh, I mean you've had a bit of time off which is actually like you said probably been a, almost like a blessing in disguise uh, are you just gonna leave the UFC and go straight into horse racing or horse analysis, uh, analysis? like what's going on there have you always been 
in deep into the punt? Uh, I, I, like I love the punt, don't get me wrong, but I'm a, I'm, I'm a big horse man. Like I love the horses. Uh, huge Obviously, Fire Jack. Yes. Yeah, Fire Jack. So huge respect for the animals. And like I definitely think that when I retire, um, that's going to be my game. Like, whether it's as a trainer or maybe I get into bloodstock or something like that. Um, it, you know, you got to keep doing things you enjoy. So where did it start? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to muck out stables at a farm um, during during the school holidays for work experience and that sort of stuff. And my nana used to love the horse races, still does, and just fell in love with it. I was going to say, is that is is that kind of what sort of in the family you guys have horses, or is that just like a Bacchus Marsh sort of thing? You just all hit the stables. No, honestly, it's just a me thing. Like my my, my nana loves it, um, but my parents didn't have anything to do with it. None of my siblings do. I, I just fell in love with it, and I've kind of entrenched myself in the in that world now. And um, I love it, yeah. And uh, before I let you go, uh, am I hearing word right that uh, you're going to head up and perhaps help Volkanovski as a bit of a Ilya Tapura like emulation, or is that just more like he needs smaller guys, or is that for you, is that for him, what, what's going on there? Look, I just think being around Volk and soaking up the way he does things is always going to be good for me. Um, and I think for the last like four or five fights, Volk was fighting Holloway, who was really tall. I was fighting Emmers, then he was fighting um, Yair. And when it came to us getting together and working together, it just didn't make much sense stylistically. Whereas now with Tapuria, I feel like I can emulate Tapuria really well. And Tapuria's team blocked me from weighing in for like three or four minutes when I was dehydrated in Florida. And they're like three or four, three or four minutes might not seem like a lot, but I've held on to that. It's like anything I can do to help. How did it happen? I went down to check on the check scales and he was struggling and he had like a big security dude like on the door, but it's like a fighter's room. I don't care who you are, like it's our room. And I went to get in, he's like, no oh, brother, two minutes, wait, wait. And I, I said to my brother, I said, if he's not out in 90 seconds, I'm going in. And then he walked out and there's like fucking 15 of them. But is that like a thing that fighters normally do? You normally let for one fighter at a time or? No, fucking no one does that. It's everyone's room. Like a, like a, Volk would fucking net like Volk's the man right? and he would never like block someone from using the, the check scale because he was using it. The only like sometimes if there's a girl and she has to get kitted off, then fair enough, but I oh, know. It's only a little thing, but chip, ah. chip on my shoulder. I'm like, fuck, if I can help Volk a little bit, then I'm keen as. Oh, it'd be interesting for when the flight happens down the road if uh, you went to play. <laughs> That's you're going to hold on to that. Oh, fuck. I, whatever motivation you can get, hey. I <laughs> oh, love it, mate. Have a great uh, weekend, and uh, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, you too. Thanks, bro.